Hello, hello. Oh, guys, I am so dang excited to talk to you tonight. Oh, you have an idea. I spent my day. It's like super nice, very beautiful, super warm in Northeast Ohio, where I'm from. Uh, I live in Lakewood, Ohio, which is right outside of Cleveland. Um, and we had a beautiful day. And I'm dog sitting my friend's dog. So if you hear anything in the background, it's just that stage five clinger. Her name's Phoebe. She's really cute. So, Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for hopping on tonight. We are going to, hey, Jessica, we're going to talk about um, healthy VIP groups and customer care. So your director, Jessica Jenkins, uh, reached out to me and she was like, hey, girl, you're crazy, full of energy and super fun and it's very contagious. Will you come train my team? And Jessica doesn't even know it, but I've been like secretly watching her on Facebook anyways, because this girl freaking kills it. So I was super excited when she reached out. So a little bit about me really quick. I'll keep it short and then we'll get to the uh, meat and potatoes of this. So my name is Vanessa Rowe. I have been selling Sensi for just about seven years now, and I've been a director for four of those years. Uh, my journey with Sensi has been an absolute roller coaster, lots of ups, lots of downs, tons of failures, but also lots of successes to follow that. So um, wherever you are in your business, whether you just joined, whether you just do this as a hobby, maybe you're looking to turn this into a career, uh, maybe you've been doing this for a really long time, I just wanna let you know that you are in a good place. You are in the right place because this business is crazy amazing and it can do wonderful things for you, your life, your business, your family. Every, it's just such a blessing. It's absolutely unreal to me. So by showing up to these kind of things, you are showing up for yourself and those people that do show up to trainings and events and stuff like that go up. Speaking of trainings, make sure you sign up for SFR. That is what changed my life and changed my business the very first time that I did it still continues to change things all the time. So if you're not signed up yet, make sure you do so. We just got paid yesterday. All right, guys, meat and potatoes time. VIP groups and customer care. Now, hear me out. I don't care if you have one customer. I don't care if you have 10 customers. I don't care if you have 100 customers. I don't care if you have 1,000 customers. Your customers are the most important part of your business. You should get excited for every single order you get of them supporting your business. Now, listen to me, guys. I've been doing this for seven years and I still get just excited to get that PWS email as I did when I first joined. Do not lose that excitement because without customers, you would have nothing. Without customers who order, you would not have a business. You could not have a team. It's literally the heart and soul of your business. That's why it's so important to love on them, to care for them, to spoil them rotten and make sure that they wanna come back to you because here's the real truth of it, guys. You don't own your customers. You don't even come close to owning your customers. They don't owe you anything. They don't owe you, owe you loyalty. They don't owe literally nothing. So you don't own them. So you have to give them a reason to want to be loyal to you. You have to give them a reason to want to suggest you to their own loved ones. They have to, you have to give them reasons to trust you and love you and you have to love on them and make them feel appreciation. And I'm going to tell you this guys, this is something that you should come back to for everything in your business. And it's this phrase here. If not you, then who? If not, if you're not going to love on your customers, then who will? If you're not going to ask someone to host a party, then who will? If you're not gonna ask someone to join your team, then who will? That's gonna come down to so much of your business. So do it scared, do it anyways, guys. But anyways, back to the VIPs. So a VIP is someone in your business that you think is a very important person. Now, this can be hostesses. This can be someone that's ordered one time. This can be someone that's ordered multiple times. This could be someone that orders from you every single month, multiple times a month. Whoever it is, treat them like true VIPs. Now, for me, I do it in Facebook groups. I have a Facebook group. It's called Vanessa's VIP page. And so you're going to hear me call it a page it is in fact a group, so don't get that confused. I don't have a business page. I think they're a total waste of time. I don't really think it adds any value, but that's just me personally. Whatever works for you works for you. But for me, I have a VIP group, it's in Facebook, and it is for my most valued customers. And I truly treat them like VIPs. What does that look like, you're saying? It looks like this. They get first looks on 
everything. So as soon as I see something posted to the workstation, because we see new releases every Thursday, as soon as that's posted, I go straight to my VIP page before I go to my team page and say, oh my God, guys, look what's coming on Monday. Because guess what? Your customers are not going to buy something unless they know about it. So they know the hashtag VIPs see it first, hashtag spoiled, because that's what they are. My VIPs are spoiled or rotten, but they get first looks on things just like consultants do. Now, there are some things that I do hold back on them. There are certain things that I will um, post and I'll say, hey, give me 15 likes and I'll show you the whiff box this month. Or, hey, I just saw the upcoming warmer, but you guys, you guys will see it first but you're not gonna see it yet. Because I like to tease them a little bit because that kind of gives them a little bit of insight saying like, hey, Vanessa sees things first, that's a consultant perk. And essentially I wanna turn my VIPs into consultants. And I've done quite a bit of that over the years, guys. So there's a few things that I do that, but most things I show them. The only things I don't show them is the next month's warmer of the month. I show that on the 15th when everything processes. Um, I don't show them the new catalog super early. Like I don't show it to them when I see it, but I will show it to them somewhat early. Hello, Katie. How are you, darling? I'm super excited you're joining us tonight. Um, so I do show them that. Hi, Phoebe. I know she's excited. I'm dog sitting and she's just the cutest thing. Okay. So I don't show them the catalog super, super early. I don't show them next warmers of the month until the 15th of the month because I don't want it to take away from those sales. Um, but for the most part, I show them almost everything early because they are VIPs and I want them to have FOMO if they were not in my VIP page. So literally, <laughs> do you see her little snout right here? I'm dog sitting and she's a stage five clinger, just like myself. So she just don't mind her. Anyways, so... I want them to have FOMO. I want your VIP group to be something that's so much fun that they would have FOMO, which means fear of missing out, if they weren't in it. Like if you were like, hey, I'm doing a quarterly cleanup, you have to comment on this post in order for you to stay in the VIP group. I want everyone to comment on that because they couldn't imagine life without my VIP group. And I'll tell you, my VIPs do feel that way about it because it's so much fun. So the most important thing to having a healthy VIP group is consistency. The most important thing in your business overall in general is consistency. Something that you do consistently is something you do all the time. Something you do all the time will wield results all the time. Something you do sometimes will wield results sometimes. Something you don't do very often is not going to wield results very often. Something you don't do at all isn't going to give you any results. You have to show up to get PRV to make a commission, which is your paycheck, which is money in your pocket. And I'm guaranteeing you guys, you do this for money. Whether you know it or not, you're probably doing this for money. So stay consistent with your VIP page. If you only sometimes post in it, it's not healthy. You have to stay consistent. I post in mine every single day. That's just me, but it's not always sensey stuff. You need to have a nice balance between sensey posting and non-sensey posting. Because if all I ever did was post about sensey every single day, every single month, every single year, my people would be so bored with it and they'd be like, no way. That's boring. If I really wanted that, like I'd be a consultant. So I don't do that. Instead, I have a really nice balance. So what I do is I like to think of it kind of 50 50 between sensey posting and non sensey posting. But what's really, really, really important is interaction. So the way that Facebook algorithms works is that if somebody interacts on the post, the more it's going to be boosted up into someone's newsfeed. So you really want to have a good amount of interactive posts so that the posts get really boosted up. Now, when someone comments on a post in a Facebook group, they are more likely to see the other posts in there. So when my people comment on the interactive post that has nothing to do with Sensi, they will see when I do post about Sensi in that Facebook group. So let me give you some examples of some non Sensi things I post in there. So on Thursdays, I do hashtag thrifty Thursday, which is a Scentsy post, and that's something where I post a highlight of an item in the clearance tab. So last, this past week that we just had, that we're currently in, 
the week we're currently in, I posted about the four mini warmers that are on clearance. We have two Christmas ones and we have two fall ones. And I said, hey, hashtag Thrifty Thursday, take advantage on these holiday and fall mini warmers so that you don't have to pay full price when they come when new ones come back out in the fall. Uh, I've also done the diffusers because guess what's always in clearance? Diffuser shades. So that was a fun post I did in there. Now that's a Scentsy post, but also on Thursdays, I do throwback Thursdays. And if you could just go to Pinterest or go to Google and type in interactive throwback Thursday posts or interactive throwback posts, you'll find things like which one was your first cell phone? And they comment what was their first cell phone and they get all sorts of into it. Um, you can have them pick, like here are five TV shows from the 90s. One of them has to go, which one is it? Do so, It has nothing to do with Sensi at all, but people want that. They love to give you their opinion. They love things that cause any sort of like conversation or any sort of like fun argument. Like, oh my gosh, you would get rid of Full House? No way. Um, just stuff like that. So that's one example of interactive ones. You could do a fun Friday post where you say, hey, what are you doing this Friday? Um, you can even mix Sensi and Interaction. So every Wednesday I do, what are you warming Wednesday? Well, I, I pick one of three things. So one of them is what are you warming Wednesday? And they tell me what wax they put in their warmer. And I say, hey, make sure you're changing your wax. What are you warming today? Um, another one I'll do is I will show them two bars and I'll say, what should I warm today on Wednesday? Or what should I warm on Wednesday? And I'll do Coastal Sunset or Watermelon Tangerine. And they will comment and it increases the interaction in that post. Um, the last one that I do is a warmer Wednesday, which is I'll be like, hey, post a picture of your warmer. And I will show a picture of my warmer and I'll add other pictures of warmers in the comments. They add in pictures of their warmers and it just kind of like, adds an interaction on top of everything else. Um, Motivation Monday, I post a fun quote. I do self-care Saturday. On Sundays, I do Sensi Club Spotlight. So I'll take one of my Sensi Club subscriptions. I ask the person first, of course, and say, hey, do you mind if I put your Sensi Club on Spotlight? I won't mention you if you don't want me to. They're always happy to because they're like, oh my God, yes, of course, Vanessa, anything for you. I love you so much because they do. They love me. I don't know why I'm crazy, but they love me. So I highlight their Scentsy Club and I'll take a screenshot of it or whatever I do. I usually just do a screenshot and say, hey, Scentsy Club Spotlight, this is one of our VIPers Scentsy Club subscriptions. And then they'll see it and be like, oh, cool. Let me tell you this. The more you talk about something, the more you're going to see interaction on it. So it took me talking about Scentsy Club probably seven times before people were like, oh, I need to get on that. Seven times, so keep that in mind. You posting about it once or twice or three times is not enough. That is not enough for someone to go through with something. You have to talk about it in your lives. You have to post about it. You have to highlight it. You have to talk about it one-on-one -on -one. and eventually your Scentsy Club subscriptions are gonna go up because you're frequently talking about it. Show them your Scentsy Club. This is not a training on Scentsy Club, but guys, if you don't have one, get one and you need to get your customers on it because it's the best thing for your business ever. So. Uh, lots of interactive stuff. The thing you need to do is pick a set of things to do each day of the week. That is the easiest way to stay consistent, maintain a balance, keep it fun, and have your customers have fun with it. I mean, so I do Motivation Monday. We do Tuesday tips, which are Sensi tips or life hack tips about any of those. I do like one to three each week. Um, I pick one of my three things for Wednesday, whether it's what are you warming Wednesday, um, show me your warmers, or which wax should I warm. Uh, so that's my Wednesdays. Thursdays is Thrifty Thursdays and Throwback Thursdays. Friday Fun is a fun post that has nothing to do with Sensi at all. Um, Saturdays is Self Care, where I'll post something about self care. You can just go to Pinterest, type in self care. Tons of stuff will pop up and you'll be good. And then on Sundays, we do the Scentsy Club Spotlight. Now the other thing that's really cool about Sundays in my VIP group is we play bingo one Sunday a month. So what I usually do is I just put all the Sundays into a poll and I say, hey guys, which Sunday works best for you? When do you wanna do bingo? Now I am quite a bingo queen. If you talk to anyone that's ever trained with me, is on my team or anything else, I'll tell you Vanessa equals bingo. 
Bingo was a huge thing for my business. As soon as we hit quarantine, I've done easily 50 to 100 bingos since last March, which is so crazy, but I love it and I have so much fun with it and my VIPs do too. So your VIPs are going to be people that you love. They love you. They love Sensi. Um, they're loyal to you. They have fun in your group and they're also a guinea pig. So you can actually test things out on them. You could test out products on them. You could test out sample packs to them. You could test out party types to them. That's exactly what I did with bingo. I was like, hey, I want to try out bingo and nobody wants to book a party. I'm going to do it in my VIP group. All my VIPs are going to play along. They're going to have fun. And they did. And it was so much fun that the people that said no to me before about hosting actually ended up hosting par bingo parties because they saw how fun it was firsthand. So make them your test dummies. My VIPs loved bingo so much that we now play once a month. So we do once a month bingo in my VIP page. We have three winners, we play three rounds. So there's three people that get prizes. And what I do is I just talk about products in between the rounds of bingo. So you'll see here, I have an entire display. And you don't need this, by the way. You could just walk around your house. I, before I had this display, cause I didn't always have this. This is a newer, this came in August. So from March to August, all I did was walk them around my house. We went to my bathroom and I was like, hey, look at all these products in my bathroom. And we walked to my living room. And I was like, hey, look at all these products in my living room. Check out this new warmer. And I just showed them how I use Scentsy in my life because guess what guys, if it's good enough for you, it's good enough for them. So I just talk about this display. Uh, I talk about how to change your wax. I talk about why you wanna use Scentsy wax. I talk about the safety of our warmers. I dip my finger in the wax. Um, I usually open up and ask because my VIPs are usually, most of them are customers that have been buying for a while. So I open it up and ask them before bingo. And I say, hey guys, what do you wanna talk about tonight? Do you wanna talk about diffusers or fragrance flowers or the new wax collection or whatever the heck it is? And they tell me, and that's what we talk about. Every time I do that, I get sales. Every single time, because they're seeing the products, I'm able to have a conversation with them and it's getting us closer because they are interacting with me. They're seeing my face. We're having a good time. I laugh, I sing, I dance, I have a ridiculous, I make a fool of myself, but I love it. I have fun, they, whoop, and I lost you. I dropped my phone, don't mind me, that happens. Usually because I get so excited. <laughs> so um, that's the bingo on my VIP page. Now, the one thing that I do notice is that if you have a VIP group, a bingo group, not a bingo, um, a Facebook group, and it's really, really large, like I'm talking 100 plus people, and nobody's reacting, you have to clean it out. This is something that's controversial. Some people say don't clean it out. I say do it, because guess what? It's a VIP group, VIP, which means really, really important person, very important person, it's a privilege. So if they have not ordered or interacted on posts in three plus months, I pull them out. You can always add them back in if they ask for it, if they reorder, whatever it is. But if they're not interacting with stuff and they're not ordering, why are they in there? They're not, act they're not, they shouldn't be treated like a VIP because they're not acting like a VIP customer. So that is kind of how I do it. And I notice an increase in participation, an increase in who sees the posts and everything else when you keep the group smaller. I usually keep mine right around 100 people because I have a lot of customers. And I'll tell you, not all of my customers are in that VIP group. This really is for my exclusive customers that participate regularly or they order regularly or both. All right, customer care part of this. So how the heck do you get people in your VIP group, right? So what you have to do, the most important part of customer care is follow-up. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking, but I don't like follow-up, but it's pushy, but it's salesy. I don't wanna bother them, blah, 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 blah. Those are excuses and cut them out of your life. Oh, sister, that's not serving you at all. Get rid of it, get rid of the excuses, cut them out. Nobody cares. Follow-up is thoughtful, and I need you to change that perspective. Think about it like this. I bought a car four years ago. My, my car is now four. And when I bought my car, my car guy, who sold me my car, reached out to me two days after I bought my car, and he said, hey, Vanessa. He sent me a text, because I told him I don't like phone calls. He sent me a text, and he said, hey, Vanessa, how's your new car? What do you think? 
I was like, oh my God, Jason, thanks so much. I love it. It's great. And that was that. So then Jason sent me a text message two months late or two weeks later. And he said, hey, Vanessa, just checking in. Make sure you're still loving your car. Oh my God. Yes, it's great. Thanks. He then texts me again. No, he called me in two two months after I bought my car and he said, hey, Vanessa. So as you know, cars need oil changes every three months. I just wanted to call and see if you wanted me to book an oil change for you. And I was like, oh my God, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Of course I'm going to forget to do an oil change. And here you are calling me, offering to book it for me. And you reminded me and I didn't have to think about it. And I was like, oh my God, yeah, that's follow up but with cars. Now think about it with your Scentsy business. I am a 222 girl and I use Maven. It's not Maven anymore. It's called Sell with Amy now. Anyways, it literally tells you what to say, who to follow up with, when. It does all the thinking for you. It connects to your workstation. It is an absolute godsend. It is amazing. You need it. It's worth it. Also tax write off. So your Sell with Amy is follow ups. After two days, I thank my customer for ordering, whether I email them or text them or reach out to them on Facebook Messenger, whatever I decide to do. After two weeks, they usually have their products by then. So then I send out a quick message and say, hey, Susie, I saw that you got your order. I checked on the workstation to see her shipping information. And I said, hey, Susie, I saw that you got your order. Have you had a chance to try out your new wax collection? Or hey, have you had a chance to set up your new warmer? And I customize it to whatever they ordered. Then she's gonna be like, oh my God, yeah, it's so good. Now hear me out. There is a huge statistic out there that I don't remember the exact number, but there is a huge statistic of customers reordering within the first two weeks of placing an order. If you follow up with them in the first two weeks, guess what they're more likely to do? Reorder. What? I know it's crazy. So I reach out to her. Susie's good. She doesn't order again. Then two months rolls around and I have my, my cell with Amy settings set up so that it tells me when to follow up with people. It says two months after they ordered and it says, hey, follow up with Susie. It's been a while since she ordered. And I text her and I say, hey, girl. What's up? I was just reaching out because I know that life gets super busy and I wanted to see how your wax dash is. I'm putting in an order soon. Did you need any bars, bulbs, or anything else? And then she's going to reach out to me and she's going to be like, hey, baby, get out of that. And she's going to be like, oh my God, Vanessa, life has been so crazy. My toddler is like jumping off the things. We're closing a house. I got a new job, whatever it is. And she's going to say, Vanessa, oh my God, life is so crazy. Thank you so much for reaching out. I super appreciate it because I've been so busy and I've been meaning to text you saying that I needed new bulbs or new bars or whatever it is that they need. Because guess what? You need a new fragrance flower every two months. You're going to run out of wax. If you order a six pack of wax, you're going to need more wax within two to three months. If you are using, I don't know what other products, the cleaners, you're probably going to need it more in every like three months or so. But the thing is, is that our products are consumable. So you have to follow up with them because your customers are going to need more. If you waited for people to reach out to you, chances are they're going to think to themselves, oh, hey. I need to text Vanessa because I'm out of wax. And then all of a sudden their three-year-old is scaling the cabinets and they're like, oh, beep. I was going to swear, but I didn't. Look at me. Um, and they'll be like, oh, beep, little Johnny, you need to get down from the cabinets. And guess what she forgot about? Texting you to get more wax. So that's why we follow up. It is thoughtful. It is taking care of our customers. Um, and they can say no. So when you go out to eat and say you have appetizers and you have drinks and you have your dinner and then dinner ends and you are like a stuffed sausage, like you could not possibly eat any more food. And then all of a sudden your server comes around and she's like, hey, I just wanted to see you. Do you want any coffee or dessert? And you're like, oh my gosh, I could not possibly eat another thing without exploding in my pants, like literally not coming off this evening. So you say no to dessert. Does that server go, I bartended and served for long, long, long time, guys, and I'll tell you. Bartenders do not go home and cry and say, oh my God, table 43 said no to dessert. When your customer tells you, no, I don't need more wax, who cares? It's no big deal. That just means I don't need more wax. They're not saying no to you as a person. They're not saying you're terrible or blah, blah, blah. They're just saying, I'm good on wax. I don't need it right now. But you know what that means? That you can reach out to them again in a couple months because six months after they've ordered is when you're ready to 
reach out again and you say, hey, it's been a while and I just wanted to let you know we have a brand new catalog. Did you want me to send you a copy of it? Or you could send them a link to it because we have an online catalog now that's totally free. So every six months we have a new catalog. That's a perfect example to reach out to somebody that hasn't ordered in a while. And I'll tell you this again and again and again and again and again. You are not bothersome. Follow up is thoughtful. If you are not following up, you are not taking care of your customers. And I have told my team this. I've told everyone that I've ever trained this. If you don't follow up with your customers and you don't take care of your customers, I will. I have had customers come to me and say, I order from you now because you reach out to me. I order from you now because my old consultant takes too long to get back to me. I order from you now because you make me feel appreciated. If you don't take care of your customers, you don't own them they can go to another consultant and more than likely they will go to another consultant guys. So be the reason why they want to stay loyal to you. Um, I could talk all night long, literally your ear off about customer care and different ways that you can do it. Um, but really it's free. Just tell them, thank you. Tell them that you appreciate them. Send them a thank you in the mail, add a thank you card into their orders. If you're dropping them off. Um, but really it's free. All you need to do is make people pe <laughs> make people feel appreciated. People remember how you made them feel. They won't remember the samples you sent them. They won't remember the free shipping you offered them. They won't remember when you asked them to host a party, but they will remember that you made them feel appreciated. They will remember when you do something for them and how it made them feel. Okay, does that make sense? I hope it does. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up a few minutes. If you have any questions, if you have anything you want me to really dive into or cover really quick, please drop those below. If you are catching the replay, please hashtag replay in the bottom below so I can see that you're watching this and so can Jessica. Um, but c drop your comments there too because I'll still be in this page and I'm happy to answer them. So. Drop some questions. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna cover. I'll give you a few minutes on that and then otherwise we'll just go about the rest of our Friday evening. Saturday evening, it's Saturday. Can you tell? <laughs> this is water, I promise. Later is wine, but right now it's water. All right, questions guys, lay them on me. I know that Facebook is on a little bit of a delay because it always is. That's just how it goes. All right. Oh, Jessica. Friday doesn't mean anything to me because guess what, guys? Other than tutoring, I'm going to be full-time sensei soon. By the way, if I could do it, you could do it, just in case you're wondering. But days of the week really don't mean much. Okay. Jessica, do I do different sensei posts on both pages? Okay. So... My Facebook group, which is my VIP page, the Facebook group, is where I do those days of the week posting. Like I said, like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday posts go in there. My regular Facebook page, my pub, like the one that's like all my friends can see, that is where I focus more so on sharing how I use Sensi in my own life. I do way more sharing than I do selling. Now, if we have an LTO or some sort of release, I will post that there because you never know who is gonna be interested in it. But for the most part, I'm sharing how I use Sensi in my own life. So I will share sometimes in my st stories, by the way, are the best thing ever. They're so, so, so good for interaction. Um, Instagram and Facebook stories, utilize them, trust me. Do little videos of you changing your wax, all sorts of fun things. Um, but I just do how I use it. So anytime I change my wax, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm totally obsessed with the scent. Can't wait to change my wax and my warmers. Um, I will do a little picture of me cleaning. And sometimes, you know, I really don't like highlight the products all the time. Sometimes they just see, oh God, I just got a whiff of that. It's so good. Watermelon tangerine, if you haven't tried it yet, guys. Huh. Anyways, tangent queen. Um, I just post pictures and they see Sensi in the background. They see my warmers. They see my cleaning products. They see my fragrance flower. And I just take a quick picture and say, I'll take a picture of my fragrance. Flower. I'll be like, just changed out my fragrance flower. Super excited to try out watermelon tangerine. Um, or I will do, hey, it's bath. It's Tuesday, which means it's the day to clean the bathrooms. And I will post a picture of me cleaning my bathroom. 
people love you. People do business with other people that they love, know, love, and trust. So my people love me, my friends, my family, my coworkers, my old coworkers, uh, people I went to school with, my customers, other consultants, they love me, they wanna see my face. I don't care if you love your face or not because other people do. So get uncomfortable, post the selfie, look ridiculous, make a fool out of yourself because that's what gets people's attention. When you are literally like, if your poo-poo be cray, give it a spray. And you post a picture looking like this and you spray the room spray because poop smells bad. Making a post like that gets ridiculous amount of interaction. So just share how you're using Scentsy in your life and I promise people think to themselves, I know, love, and trust you. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. That will get authentic, genuine sales. So that's my best way to answer that question. I don't want to take up your whole rest of your night, guys. It's Saturday evening. Whether you have something to do or not, <laughs> get back to your Netflix binging, whatever it is. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening. I want to take two seconds, don't go anywhere yet, to shout out Jessica. So hear me out, guys. Jessica Jenkins is an outstanding leader. This girl shows up. I see her showing up. So please take two seconds, shoot her a message, tag her in the comments, and just tell her how much you love her, how much you appreciate her. Because listen, guys, we do that to our customers and we love on our customers, but you also have to love on your leaders because they need love too. So text Jessica, message her on Facebook, post in the team page, tag her in the comments, and tell her how much you love her and something that she's done recently that makes you feel appreciated. So love on her. Thank you for showing up for me, for your business. Go up, sign up for SFR, guys. It's gonna be huge. And I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. If you have any comments that we weren't able to cover, please drop them in the cup. Any questions we weren't able to cover, drop them in the comments. I will cover them when I can. I love you lots. Feel free to add me on Facebook. My, It's ridiculous. It's entertaining, but it's ridiculous. Feel free to add me. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night and thank you.